driving with Sadie, and we have, have, so we're going to drive all around the Indianapolis Speedway. Okay. Yep. So we're starting at the airport and we're going to drive all around. All around the Indianapolis 500. Break. I had to break on. Okay, so, uh, yeah. What? Everybody else seems to know where we're going, except for me. So, um, look at the airport, look at the airport. Very nice. Plus airport. People be upset because I'm on my phone. But I'm trying to do this. Um, okay, so we, this is, it's to get your data point. No, I'm up to something. <laughs> okay, it's 6.23 in the morning. And I got a full tank of gas. 6.24. And it's 65 degrees. And we will just drive around the whole Indianapolis. 65 return to terminal no 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 45 miles an hour here so we're at the airport and everybody is very so, because there was the race yesterday, now people are, they don't want to stick around in Indianapolis. They're going to fly out, right? Um, they're going to fly out. Okay, so.
this one is recorded. Okay, and then that one is... These people are... Because we live in the Indianapolis, so everybody thinks we're gonna speed. So, mi casa, su casa. Here is Indianapolis, there's FedEx. FedEx. I gotta get my other camera going a little bit better. Okay, let's just try to do this. Um, north, yeah, let's go north. Okay, so, Toronto and Sadie. Um, okay, north. Okay, 465, we just left the airport. We are going. driving the Beetle, the 2001 Beetle, so um, a lot of the 2000, the 2000 in that era, the ones that um, the, I'm trying to pay attention here, okay, so the ones that um, you got it why do they have that ship on their car? Okay. I'll put, I should put my, I uh, see everybody's out here driving fast. Oh shit, I don't want to be on this lane. Damn it. It always wants you to, Sam Jones. Sam Jones, who the F is Sam Jones? Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't slept, haven't slept, um, what I do is I like, I'm up for three days, and then I sleep for two days, that's my pattern, um, but, okay, now it's 6.31, and I did put, um, I did put new, so we're on 465, we're going clockwise, not counterclockwise, we're going clockwise around the Indianapolis area. I can point out some stuff. There's uh, an elect electric training, electrical training institute. I see that sign there all the time. I've never heard of any of the graduates from that place. That is not really a good camera angle. See, people, I can, I need to make that, I need to just get this up higher, or a better camera angle for y'all. Okay, well. 
well, there's people behind me now. So, I, I'm always late. I'm always, like, late. Not, like, in a passive-aggressive way. It's just I have too much stuff that I'm trying to do. So, I wanted to make this video and drive around the 465. I wanted to do it, like, uh, burping. Of a car of slick pavement. 
Have you guys noticed that most of the cars are either black or white? Like, it really seems like it. I, I know that it's like once you start recognizing, see, look at, let's just see, is, is that, I don't think it's a race, race thing, it's not, it's like some people are like, they get the black car, and they get the tinted windows, it's like, what, who do you think you're hiding from, like, who do you think you're hiding from? You know, there's like, in some of these new cars, it's recording, like that's how it got that, um, the Murdoch, the Murdoch, Murdoch guy, I mean, what a, e what an evil guy, that Murdoch guy, he, ki he killed his wife and his kid. He killed his wife and his kid. Like, that's terrible. Over money? Like, come on. Like, just go be... It's it's amazing. You think, you think that money is going to help you. These people get into so many problems. You know? Um... Was it in the Bible or something that said, don't envy the rich? Okay, I'll try to get a better one with you on there. It said, don't envy the rich. Or was it Alan Watts? Okay, we're going now, 465 North. I wonder if these people know, just think I'm up to something. Because I'm driving this car. So this is a 2001 Volkswagen Beetle that I got. That I got. That I was helping. What? A few months ago, I was helping my friend Jen. And she was drunk. And. I was in Bloomington, Indiana driving in a city that I don't know, driving in Bloomington, Indiana, when you get there, it's like hilly, There's 71st Street, 73rd Street, um, in Bloomington, Indiana, it gets hilly, so I'm driving in the dark, this hilly Bloomington, Indiana. such a terrible angle. You guys are going to click off at 18 minutes. i got to make it better. Okay, but I have this I can... Okay. We got... We got this. So they're going to report me. They're going to report me, I'm sure, because... Damn it! I just need this to be higher up. This is how I... Okay, there's no traffic around here. Here comes somebody. If I could just... get it a little bit better. Oh! Look, there is where I used to work a long time ago. There's where I used to work a long time ago. Look at this ass, this idiot. There's three, there's four lanes. And there's four lanes and you're going to be behind me. In the middle. You know, stupid. It's stupid. You stupidity. Oh my gosh, there's another one. I mean, come on. These idiots. Like, have the balls to just drive around somebody. Like, don't give me a fuck. Give me a break. If you're gonna do this shit. Oh my gosh. 
This video is not going to get played on YouTube because I'm swearing. And that's what happens when I drive. Look at the stuff these people have on their car. Can we zoom in on that? What is that? Skull. Skull Raper. <laughs> Skull Raper. <laughs> cook, cook at this shit. Okay, let's let's just try to be better. Let's let's vibe out to the wind. Okay, so yeah. Um, I used to work there and do the insurance at um, I was an administrative assistant and the, I was administrative assistant for years, but, you know, I had potential, but there was no, like, mentoring thing, so, you know, I probably would have ended up being an insurance person, but I don't think the trans thing would have flied very much in that company. Travelers Insurance, it, it's a really conservative. Insurance is really conservative. I don't think they're, you know, Amazon and Target, they're like, oh yeah, rainbow, rainbow this, that. But if Travelers Insurance starts being all rainbow, people are going to jump ship. People are going to jump ship and think, well, these they don't know anything. They don't know. They're, they're going all woke, as they say. Everybody just wants to drive fast. So, we're going this fast. And everybody's just driving. Driving, driving, driving. So here we are, 421 Michigan. 421 Michigan. That is such a bad angle. I'm sorry. We've got to get a better angle on that one. Um, yeah. Construction. They're always doing construction. Okay. It's nicer. I get it. But they're always. Like, Indianapolis, I wonder if other cities have experienced the same thing, like Cincinnati, Chicago. Well, of course, they're always, they always have to be fixing the roads because they're, you know, sections of the road is, are getting worn out. So, you know... I think they're going to... See, okay, I don't even have the turbo in here. So, so this is the 2.0 Beetle. The new Beetle, the 2.0 Beetle, stick shift. And the, the turbos, like what I was saying before, the turbos were the only ones that... Oh, there's the pyramids. The pyramids... Um, that Josh guy that I follow on Instagram works at the pyramids. That Josh, Josh guy. Um, and, and that's where I, um, got hair treatment. They have, a. I was up there years ago, years ago, I was worried about losing my hair and so I got hair treatment there they have a place up there in the pyramids and that's what I was so concerned about you know that's because before I transitioned you know I was the the, thi the most you know I wouldn't care about this or that oh I have the 
I need to, oh, I have smell exhaust. Okay, we need to do a little. Okay. Nice Indianapolis Bay. faster car I would just get in trouble and you know people who have a smaller car you can tell when it has that full gas tank it's weird well I mean it the car performs you have all those extra gallons of gas so how much like a gallon of milk, a gallon of water, a gallon of gas, they all weigh what? Like, obviously different. Which one weighs the more? I, we would assume the milk would weigh the more because it has the, all the proteins in it. And then the gas, you think it's all thin. It's So probably a gallon of milk weighs more than a gallon of water and a gallon of water weighs more than a gallon of gas because it has the long hydrocarbon chains, petroleum products. So, yep, driving with Sadie. So, also, oh, Meridian Street, North Meridian Street. North Meridian Street, 60 miles an hour, I'm just going five miles over. What is that? Okay, I they, the this white Kia has a stripe on it. Okay. guys that one that angle is so bad that angle I'm sorry about that one but you know I get my train of thought here okay I'm burping again damn it spaghetti I eat spaghetti every night so it's like I consume these foods but I consume a lot of the same thing like so I'll get to frozen blueberries and I'll eat tons of the frozen blueberries you know oh my gosh what is this No, it's it's so bad but in this car anyone who's smart knows that this is when you are around this vehicle that this is a stick shift and it's so bad to downshift if and if people are tailgating me and I'm like okay well 
if you're tailgating me, you know that this is a stick shift car. I can downshift it and the brake lights don't go on. It's, it's terrible to do that. But why do people, I don't understand it. You just go around somebody. Look at this. One, two, three, four, like four lanes. And then there's it, like liberal side, like very nice side on both. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Basically, there's six lanes here. Basically, there's six lanes here. Why, why do you feel the need to see, like, here we got Walmart coming up, big, big Walmart. I'll just go, and we'll just go a little faster. extra loud because this car doesn't have you know you you feel the road and I think of it as like a little go-kart which gets you in trouble because you're around bigger vehicles like you think of those semis it, it doesn't matter what crash rating your car has the momentum with those semis, especially if they are fully loaded or, I mean, a tanker truck full of water, milk, or gas. I mean, think of the weight and the momentum. Oh, shoot. I don't want to do this. Okay. I... Yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't want to do exit 37B. Up here, Community Health Network. I worked for Community 13 years ago. Community South. And that's where I met Jen, that I went to Bloomington she's had so she moved so Jen Upley has moved from Bloomington which she was in you know around guys that you know are probably not the best for her but she has such a good heart that she, what she wants to do is like fix these guys you know and it, it doesn't really work all the time. So now she was in North Carolina, now she's in West Virginia, so she has the Tiki Jan channel. But I've known her for years, and 
she was sitting right over there. I should have brushed my hair a little bit. It's just, uh, I got, I got rained on. It was raining, so I was like, I put, I did the AC fix it, the AC fix it. I call it AC fix it like it's, like it's duct tape or something. Um, the AC fix. What is it? Well, I got it in AutoZone. So, oh, it's getting loud. The road's crappy. It's getting loud. It's getting loud. Yeah, that angle is just horrible. You guys, I can't. I can't have you keep. Uh, I hate when people just stay like really far behind you. They know that they probably think that there's some lady that doesn't know how to drive and they just stay behind and watch and just want to be like, oh yeah, let's just watch this lady. Let's just see how good this lady driver is trans. Well, they probably just run. They, I think they have an app where you can just type in people's
exit 44. Oh, that was not, that was not graceful. It's not graceful. Okay, there's 70 that cuts through. We've got 70 that cuts through there. 70 and 74. I think 70 is what we take to go to the casino. No, unemployed person shouldn't be going to the casino. But, I sold plasma, so it would be nice if I got an electronics job, I'm trying, I think the economy is getting better in Indianapolis. But, I like, I like the warehouse jobs too, because you're, you get to work out and you're around a bunch of people, you know, you're around a bunch of interesting people, attractive people that you have to be kind of fit, and then, you know, it's so weird about that the warehouses, okay, the, I mean, anybody that's worked at a warehouse knows, okay, 40 East, I don't run into any police officers because it would be difficult to explain. What are you doing?
broken down cars. That's two two white broken down cars. One on on the what do you call? It? That's the shoulder. Like there's got to be names for the different shoulders. Like do we say right shoulder or left shoulder? Like when you say broken down on the shoulder everybody like assumes it's the one adjacent to the slow lane okay I'll just go back in back in this so let's talk about the um, trucks there's so many trucks I think there's a report on NPR or something saying there's four trucks but I mean um, we live in the crossroads, so Ohio, Cincinnati, um, St. Louis, Indianapolis, those are the crossroads here. Fleet Rob's, don't drive naked, says don't drive naked, so yeah, I, can, I should put my, I should put my YouTube Sadie on my car and then people will look it up and they'll be like, oh no, there's a, this trans in the car ahead of us. I mean, I don't, I don't care, but people want to know what's going on. People are nosy. People have been nosy in the Victorian era. People are nosy back in the 1300s. People are nosy in the Bible era. The Bible era. <laughs> okay. Um, exit. What am I doing? I'm not exiting. Oh, we don't want to get around this truck. So look at this tanker, this gasoline guzzler. I mean, look at that. Just wreck into that. Just wreck into that ship. Oh, it's over. Just, you want to get away from that. I mean, they got to deliver the gas. If they weren't delivering the gas, but then that's why they want pipelines. Well, they can move so much more if they have pipelines. But then you're going to tear up the people's graves <laughs> to put your the pipeline. You can't gerrymander the pipeline. That's what they should do. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the pipeline, the oil pipeline and the gerrymander are gerrymandering are total opposites. The pipeline, the oil, the petroleum pipeline just goes right through like a, a hot knife through butter. Right? Um, so, okay, we'll go back to me on this one. Okay. So, yeah, so the pipeline is the opposite of the gerrymandering, which, I'm sorry for that angle. See, I could do so much better, make better content, speed limit work zone. Well, I don't see anybody, any workers. See, that's how people get in trouble. I don't see any workers. Okay, so... The... Um, so the gerrymandering... So it's like, could they gerrymander a pipe? Well, of course they could... Why don't they gerrymander a pipe? Why don't they gerrymander the petroleum products... To go around the grave sites of the people that that are died there. <laughs> Lots of people buried in the ground. 
you know, you can't. So why are we? Why don't? Why don't we just have the pipes like a cable? Like why does it have to be buried underground? I mean, is it? I mean, you wouldn't want to put it in the air. But I guess if you put it on the ground, if you put the pipe on the ground, the problem then would be, well, people would crash into it. So you got to bury it so nobody gets to it, just like the dead people. <laughs> it's just, but the two things that want to hide from being being resurrected the oil the petroleum products and the dead people <laughs> I haven't had sleep okay okay so they are doing a lot of construction here and this is looking nice I don't know what their plan is I guess they that I dot Indiana Department of Transportation look on their website. I'm sure they have a website where people where they can where they talk about their projects. They talk about their projects and how their projects are going. Okay, so 52 minutes. 52 minutes on this. We're driving around. We're getting close to the airport. 53 minutes on that get back to the airport, I'll go back to the spot where I started, so that's a little extra, because, yeah, I could have drove a little faster, and I wanted to make it a night drive, I could never get, I could never get it the way, ramp open, what do they mean ramp open, we could get some more wind. Oh yeah, look at all this petroleum going on there. Petroleum. Petroleum and electricity going on there. Down here on exit 4, Indiana, 37 South Hardy Street. Yeah, let's just put all the wires and petroleum together. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's infrastructure, damn it. It's infrastructure. I mean, you think that it's just new. The Biden's talking about infrastructure. In the 30s, they were talking about infrastructure. They were. They had to build. And the Hoover Dam. Oh my gosh, that Hoover Dam, you guys. Like, what's going on with the Hoover Dam? Have you seen... <laughs> It's, that whole area is going to be dried out. Why don't all the Hollywood... All the Hollywood people are moving to Houston and Las Vegas. That's what I think. Like, all the Hollywood people are just moving in. Like, Jeffree Star... <laughs> is moved up to Idaho. They're all moving in several states. Skipping Utah. You want to skip Utah. So the the new West Coast is going to be like from Idaho to Las Vegas to Houston. That's the new West Coast. You guys. So if you want to be, see, I'm a, such a homebody, though, I can't, like, move out there, I mean, that's, maybe I could get better jobs, but the, the new west coast is like, Idaho, down east of Colorado, east of Pueblo, like Vegas, 
Houston, like cut right through that. That's the new West Coast. And why don't they start making, why don't they start bringing all the movie stuff and start making more movies in there and do that, all that. You have construction everywhere. It's like, well, you know what? You could look at this construction one way. You could look at it. Can't we just get a little better angle for you guys? Just a little bit better. Um, yeah. Just one. gonna say do they have a tablet holder like a you know they have the selfie stick I mean that would be ridiculous to have a you'd have to be strong okay there's more traffic obviously at 720 in the morning Indianapolis Airport Indianapolis Airport exit 9 we'll go back to we'll do it back to exit 9. Now I feel excited. And we, it got lighter. So driving with Sadie. Exit 9. Oh, hey, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Exit 9. Exit 9. It's, I, I think it's so weird that, I mean, it must piss off cops that some of these people like, make their cars look like it's a cop car. Like, it makes, I think it makes regular drivers, uh, like, a little annoyed because you're like, oh, shoot, shoot, that's a cop. And then it's like, no, 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 it's not a cop. <laughs> you know? And it's annoying. I, I think... Maybe those people want attention. It's like, why would you make your car look like a cop car? Try to do it. Like, one of the warehouses I worked at, the guy even had, the, like, the little light on the side. And he was, he just worked at the, you know, he had, like, the... Okay, we're getting close to the airport. We're getting close to the airport. Um, so he had, uh, you know, it could be so much better. It needs to be up higher like this. Damn it. Uh, okay. So, he just, like, is this black guy, he just, you know, he's pretty cool. But, like, he made his car look like a cop car. He even had the light out. And I thought it was a, a police car. This is just one person, you guys. It's not a stereotype, I'm sure. 
but why would you, like, I don't know, I guess people like to copy what they like, remember the Crown, like, in the late 90s, the Crown Victorias, like, everybody wanted the Crown Vic, because the cops had, that was the cop car, was the Crown Victoria, I remember that, like, in the late 90s. Everybody wanted that Crown Vic, and, well, not everybody, you know, it's just that, that certain person that wanted to be like, well, I can get a, I can look like a cop, I guess, is that fake it till you make it thing? Okay, so, as we approach the airport, these people are speeding. They're speeding because they're late. They're late. It's just not me. Why is everybody always... Everybody's always rushing with the airport. And then people are always like... What's my problem? Why am I... situation. I'm in control of the situation. I'm totally in control of the situation. Your speed, 41, 40. No, it didn't. My speed's not. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, this car. Yeah. People behind me are like, yeah, you're not paying attention, you idiot. You trans idiot. Welcome to the airport. See, it's so nice to go to the airport when I'm not even flying anywhere. 
Look at all these busy people. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be late. Guess what? I'm unemployed and I'm not even going anywhere. Okay, so we're back where we started. We're back right where we started. Happy holidays, happy holidays, happy holidays, happy holidays, happy holidays to these people. Happy holidays. I hope your plane doesn't crash. <laughs> Happy holidays. Get on that Boeing. Get on the Boeing. Okay, so stop, stop that one. And you guys, so, yeah, we could have done a better, yeah, it would have been better if it was like this, maybe. Okay. Well, it's a video. I've been up. I've been listening to vocabulary. That's what's in here. Charles L. Harrington Elster video um, vocabulary that um, they're um, want to know what they're saying. They're saying Saturnine and Sanguine. Okay, I'm gonna I gotta turn it off. So we made it here back before the people the before the police start thinking I'm up to something weird. Okay. Bye. Happy holidays. We'll have better videos, better content, better videos. Indianapolis Airport was rated one of the best airports, and it is really nice inside. Um, maybe I could work there, but probably... Oh my gosh. Uh, it would be fun to be bossy. It would be like, could you guys, I could be bossy. I would, like, like, I always have the rules enforced on me and I can't follow them. But what if I was the person with the authority? I wouldn't, the power wouldn't go to my head. Would I be, would people bend the rules a little bit? Would it just be my mood if I was in a good mood I don't know I like I, I just I like tech stuff because it's either a one or a zero <laughs> and you know psychology is crazy okay happy holidays Indianapolis airport we did we did it we did it we did it we did it gosh you guys I'm serious all the cars are like black or white. Nearly all of the cars are black or white. Is this, are we, is this, we're like, the people that make, well, the people that make the black and white paint make all the other colors. But you know what? The, it's, those pigments to make some of those colors actually are more so are black and white cars cheaper are black and white cars cheaper because the pigments for you have to with the chemistry you know it has the wavelengths are balancing off of there and uh, yeah Black and white cars are cheaper. I don't know. Happy holidays. Thank you guys for watching. Well, there's a, another black black and white car. Let's see what you got there. Okay, you got a light. It's like, whoa. I don't know. That's, that's my problem. I want, I want like an orange car, a yellow car, a green car. But I'm driving a black car. But I didn't paint the car. Oh, oh, there's a Mercedes truck. Oh, it reminds. No, it's not the the um, little peep, little peep Mercedes truck. But it's it's something. Okay, we gotta end it. We gotta end it. Goodbye. Yeah, watch the little peep. Mercedes truck video. It's good. It's good. Happy holidays.
I think Anthony Fantano would like Little Peep. Mercedes truck. It's on my playlist. 